and welcome to another edition of Student of the Game Rewind Edition. I'm your boy Ro, contributor for State of the U and OG member of the Orange Bowl Boys. We're jumping back into the time machine and we're going to 1991, home of the Cotton Bowl contest between Miami Hurricanes at number four and the Texas Longhorns at number three. Let me set up some of the backdrop, some of the trash talk prior to the game. And this is from offensive lineman Stan Thomas in the Sun Sentinel. He had plenty to say when he said, UM players wearing earrings on both ears and funny hats jumping up on stage. They look like typical gangsters. I thought I was in prison. Wow, Stan, tell us exactly how you feel. But I'll tell you what happened. Craig Erickson in his final game as a Miami Hurricane would throw 272 yards of passing offense and four touchdowns. And this is also known as the penalty game. 202 total yards of penalties for the University of Miami Hurricanes. And to put it in perspective, Stan, your offense only got 205 total yards completely. And by far, this game shaped me the most as a kid. Just a little kid running around the neighborhood always pretending I was Randall Hill. Every time I scored a touchdown, the six guns would come out. It was an homage because when I saw this play live, I was in complete awe of what happened. So this was one of the greatest games I ever witnessed as a kid. One of the most influential. One of the ones that shaped me. And I hope you enjoy the next 10 clips. And welcome to this edition of Student of the Game Rewind Edition. I'm your boy, Ro, contributor for State of the U and OG member of the Orange Bowl Boys. We're hopping back into the time machine once again, boys and girls. And we're going to 1991, the Cotton Bowl, where the hometown team, Texas, Number three in the land at the time versus the number four Miami Hurricanes. You're good guys. And why is there a zebra on the screen? Well, that's a great question because this game was known for two things. The butt whooping that we laid on to Bevo and the boys and the fact that the Miami Hurricanes set the Cotton Bowl record with 202 total yards of penalties. To put it in perspective, the Texas Longhorns only had 205 total yards of offense. So without further ado, take it away, Mr. Referee. First of foul, White, and Miami got flagged for the we have no penalty. dead ball, non contact foul, unsportsmanlike conduct. White, total of 30 yards penalty, be first and 40. First and 40. First and 40. Yeah, there's an echo. So, just to go ahead and set the cast of characters for your Miami Hurricanes offensively, you have Craig Erickson at the quarterback position, Stephen McGuire, and you have a trio of wide receivers, very good trio, Lamar Thomas, Wesley Carroll, and one Randall Thrill Hill. OBB alumni came on in episode five, one, is one of our first ever guests. It was an honor to talk to that man, and yes, he made this game and made it famous for something he does later on in the game, and we'll get to that. So, Miami starting off in the hole. It's first and 40. <laughs> and here you go. Miami, I like this playing parts right here. You're going to go ahead and motion out McGuire into the backfield. And you see what it does to the box. Obviously, you're going to go ahead and do this. And this has a lot of modern-day components of a spread offense, does it not? So Miami, back when it was not really popular, is really doing something to go ahead and stretch out the ranks horizontally on the Texas team. And Lamar Thomas is going to go ahead and take the slip screen right here. They let them in and look at Miami Lamar Thomas on the catch at the 20. Blockers. He has a combo. And pay attention to this gentleman right here, number 73, the cigar smoking toting nightmare, Leon Searcy. And out because, to the 33 hey, yard boom. line. <laughs> Just threw him right on the ground. I think that's one of the reasons the tenacity, the, the, the vicious ferocity that you had there. Uh, yeah, that's probably why we had a lot of penalties. But. You know, you're Miami Hurricanes. You play with an edge. That's just what you do. So, still in the first quarter, Miami finds a very successful run play. And they get the numbers advantage when they don't necessarily have the numbers advantage. And what do I mean by that? If you pay attention to the Texas Longhorns, they have seven in-the-box defenders. And they're also playing the run strength, which is set here at the field side when you have your tight end. By the way, your tight end is Rod Shudzinski the 2001 National Championship winning offensive coordinator. There he is. So, 
um, you're seeing that they're playing that side. They moved the defensive tackle over the center, so he's playing that zero tech. You have this defensive end that's responsible C-gap and this linebacker responsible B-gap. Now, something that you're going to see Miami get to a lot more this year, they're going to go to a zone-style running block where the offensive lineman's going to shoot out in unison, and they'll run a lot of inside zone, outside zone. This is very similar to what Miami did right here on this play. And how did they get the numbers advantage? Well, they're just going to leave this defensive end unchecked. And when they do, he just beats them inside. They get a hat on a hat defender. They go ahead and they out leverage this. And this is a very successful first down for Stephen McGuire and the Miami Hurricanes. So growing up in this era, if you want to ask me, what does a Miami Hurricane defense do? look like now this is the number three team in the land Miami's number four team in the land now you tell me in three consecutive plays who's the better team who has the better defense first play right here that Texas is going to go ahead and empty out the backfield and look at Darren Smith at the top like a bullet huh that's sack number one let's go right into the next play okay who's this beast Russell Maryland collapses the pocket there's sack number two Completely playing like Texas doesn't have an offensive line. And here you go. This is the quintessential Miami that I remember. Look at how many orange and green helmets are going to get to this ball. Just gangbusters all wanting to get in there and make plays. That is an impressive three-play series for the Miami Hurricanes. And the Texas Longhorns would be forced to punt. So Miami's in business. They're in the red zone. This is after Russell Maryland collapses the pocket again, gets a sack, strip sack. Miami recovers the ball, breaks out the turnover chain. <laughs> no, just kidding. The turnover chain wasn't invented yet. And then there's like an excessive celebration penalty. At one point, I think it's like first and 27, uh, first and goal from the 27-yard line. Now, this is something that I really appreciate because Texas is going to blitz and they're going to play man one behind it. And man one, you're going to have the single high safety. You see him creeping towards the middle of the field. And that the way the DB leverages is lining up, you can essentially say, hey, I think Texas is going to bring pressure, and they do. Miami handles that, and any time you're going to bring the house, you're going to leave Miami speed on the perimeter one-on-one. -on -one. So Craig Erickson recognizes this, gets the ball out quick, look at the protection, they handle the blitz. Seven Texas Longhorn defenders <laughs> tried to come on this blitz. Miami handled it perfectly. Just a quick out to Wesley Carroll. Makes one guy miss. Puts that. Bang. There you go. First touchdown of the game. Miami Hurricanes are up 13-0. And after another Texas turnover, Miami's in business in plus territory. And it doesn't take long for Craig Erickson to go ahead and find where his mismatch is. And it's right here at the top of the screen with Wesley Carroll on a number three DB. So, here you go. Slot fade. That's what the call's going to be. Right here at the top of the screen, you're going to have your Z wide receiver. He's going to run a stop, and Carroll's just going to go ahead and run your slot fade variety. Craig's going to go ahead and buy a little time in the pocket right there. Slide. There's the touch pass. There's the fade. Bam. Keeps it away from the safety. Bang. Touchdown, Miami Hurricanes. That's their second touchdown. That's the second touchdown consecutively for Wesley Carroll. So Darren Smith was part of the Bermuda Triangle, and in this case, the quarterback, your ball, it just got erased. And this is a remarkable play. As you set up in parts, you're going to see right here, they're going to line up twins to the field. You see Smith start to go ahead and flex out. And if you remember the previous clip, Wesley Carroll is going to go ahead and take a touchdown on a slot fade. Well, it's the same concept for Texas here. They're not going to necessarily bend this out to the fade, but the slot's going to run a go in the Z wide receiver right here, Z Y. The Z wide receiver is going to run a stop. So watch everything that Darren Smith does on this play. First, he's going to go ahead and diagnose right there that it's a play action pass. Second, he's going to notice that the slot receiver, and he has help over the top, is running a go route. When he does that, now he's going to continually to buzz flat, and look what he does. He makes a pick six onto the Z wide receiver. Remarkable coverage play. High stepping for good measure. Bang. Great play. Miami Hurricanes dominating this game in the Cotton Bowl. So in order for Miami to have continual success in its future, it's not bad to go ahead and look into your past and just see the individual effort in the small things, the little things that would lead to big plays. And in this case, you have center Darren Handy right here. Over his right shoulder, this is respective to his right shoulder right here. He's in the middle of the screen. 
He's got a defensive tackle. Now, the run is going to be going right into the A-gap, to the right of him. So he does a remarkable job of sealing this off. And when I talk about individual effort, way to go ahead and seal this off right there. Right? And now the left guard is straining to get to the second level. He's trying to get this second level block. That is Mario Cristobal. That's right, the Oregon Duck head coach. And here you go. Look at this. Straining to get to the second level. Did just enough, even though he's losing his balance. That's Mario Cristobal up at the top of the screen. There's Handy's block over here. And look, look at the ceiling. And now this is the little things that I wish Miami Hurricanes in the past would notice. Finish your run. Bam. That contact by Stephen McGuire essentially got the Miami Hurricanes four more yards. The ability to go ahead and sacrifice his body. You saw individual efforts along the offensive line to strain to get their blocks. Good technique. And that's what would eventually win championships. So here you go. This is why I selected this ball game. This play right here. If there was a play that shaped me the most as a kid in my neighborhood, it was this one. For the simple reason that after I saw this play unfold with my two little eyes, I would eventually become this little kid in the neighborhood doing my six-gun salute after every touchdown. Now, I eventually would end up playing quarterback for the St. Thomas Aquinas Raiders, but I was always kind of a tiny kid, small kid, fast kid when I was younger, so I always pretended I was Randall Hill. And right here at the top of the screen, you see Pressman. That's a bad move, Texas corner. And Craig Erickson looks at the top of the screen right there. Ball comes out. Simple go route. He beats the safety who's late. And here it is. Miami legend. Miami lore about to unfold. Now, you got to understand that Miami was going to get penalized for excessive celebration. It was known as the anti-Miami rule. You couldn't celebrate on the field. So, Randall Hill, what did he do? Ah, just leave the field. Amazing. Yeah, sure, in this time period, Russell Maryland was a, was a manimal. But you know who else was an All-American on that line? Kevin Patrick. And this would be Texas' fourth turnover of the game when he just, just give me the ball. <laughs> I'll take that. Thank you. So in this era, you know I got to pay homage to Mr. Kevin Patrick. Miami well underway of securing its victory. They are completely blowing out Texas. They're running them out of the stadium literally and figuratively. And here you go. Senior Leonard Connolly on a third and ten. Just a simple draw play. Take it away, announcers. Third and ten. Breaking through is Connolly for the first. Still on his feet. Connolly will not be denied. Touchdown, Miami. 